guys. So practical transform or the construction I have to do the most part of the chair. Okay, like the other area now. So let me take the transformer winding, right? So usually I have to do the right. So we have a transformer. So in the transformer we have two parts. One is core, another one is winding, right? Now let us see the brief introduction. In the winding area, when we are applying the current, let me take the winding alone. So in the winding area, current is passing through the first end of the node, right? So there is a coil. That coil will produce some flux, correct? So when the flux end of the node, this flux will again start a linking with the inductive coil, right? So observe me carefully. When the inductance area from the current is passing through the node, there will be a flux over. And the flux that through the current will cut through the node, there will be an EMF that is being generated inside of the coil, correct? So the coil or the inducer EMF number two can be found. That is E is equal to according to Lenz law. That is minus N into D by Y D. Now we all know fluxes keep on varying with respect to time period. It is purely sinusoidal, right? So the flux that I am going to do now that is pi of sine omega t. When I am doing differentiation for a flux with respect to time, I am getting pi of sine omega t will become cos omega t internal omega t differentiation. Then you get one more omega, right? So see there. Now I am getting n phi omega. Minus cos omega t can be replaced by sine of omega t minus 90. So what is the conclusion from this? This is called maximum voltage generated by the coil, right? So usually flux of voltage will be phi m sine omega t. That is when EMF will be there, right? EM sine omega t, right? So the EM or value in that is phi n phi m omega. That is the maximum voltage that is being generated in the coil. Clear? Next, see the phase difference. Fluxing every two by phi m sine omega t plus zero degree. Right, so it is being placed at the zero. Whereas the induced EMF is being placed at the maximum sine omega t minus 90. So the induced EMF always 90 degree lagging from the flux. Clear? Did you remember? In case of synchronous machine, what we saw? Synchronous machine, now we have another level. First we are taking field EMF, right? And then we are taking field EMF. So field EMF always 90 degree lagging from the field EMF, right? So this is fixed, right? Up in the other room, so in here now E is lying here. But we know actually the generator will be on the other room. We are applying some voltage. That voltage will produce some current. That current will produce some flux. This flux will generate this induced voltage, right? But what we know always the effect is opposite the causes, right? So in the voltage generator will be caused by the current applied voltage. Our two people always apply the power in the opposite direction, right? So the induced EMF in the current will be exactly 180 degree. In 180 degree phase opposition, we will call this supply voltage or terminal voltage applied by the transformer, right? So starting line, our two people are supply voltage. That is, this is induced EMF. So these two people are always opposing each other, right? So they have 180 degree phase opposition, right? So next, sir, take your maximum EMF. That is, N phi M omega. We all know the relation between RMS voltage and the maximum voltage. RMS voltage is equal to maximum upon root two, and we can also replace omega by two pi F, right? Now two pi divided by root two. If the omega we replace one thing, we two pi F will substitute one thing. That is maximum. Divide this whole term by root two. Divide one thing, you will get RMS voltage. That is two pi by root two will give you four point four four times of number of turns. Pi M F times of voltage. So this is the RMS voltage that is being generally induced in the primary and the secondary side of the transformer, right? So whereas N denotes the number of turns, primary side abina N will become N1, secondary side abina N will become N2, right? Rest of things are remain same. Same formula on the secondary side, right? So this is all about EMF equation of the transformer. I hope you all understand. If you have any other doubts, then you can ask in the comment section. And remember one more thing: don't forget always the phase difference. Flux level do EMF 90 degree lagging, terminal voltage इंगेल तो 180 degree leading, right? So phase opposition आउ लगा, right? So do remember these all things. यार तीन दिन लगे questions के पाऊँगा, right? I hope you all understand. वैसे जो doubts हैं तो जरा बिना ask in the comment section. So thanks for watching my videos. Thank you all.